welcome back. I'm Elaine and I'm living with autoimmune disease. And to the new friends who have found my channel, welcome, I'm glad to have you here. So for today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about medication. For our autoimmune disease, there's plenty of different kinds of medication in different forms. And perhaps you're newly diagnosed and you clicked on this video thinking, is one medication better than the other? Where do I begin? For a little bit of background, I have three autoimmune diseases. I have rheumatoid arthritis, I have systemic sclerosis, and I'm also diagnosed with lupus. My journey started about 12 years ago with rheumatoid arthritis. That was my first diagnosed autoimmune disease. And when I began my journey, I didn't know a lot about medication and pretty much just took whatever the doctor gave me because I was in such bad shape that I just wanted to be better. Like many of you, when I began my journey, I started on a medication called methotrexate. Methotrexate comes in two forms, pills and subcutaneous. I began on pills, but I switched to subcutaneous. If you're having problems with your GI tract or absorption of the medication, there is an injection form of methotrexate available. I think now that rheumatologists actually discuss treatment options more then when I started, hopefully your rheumatologist has given you an opportunity to ask questions. Please feel free to always ask questions in your appointments. Uh, it's your appointment, so make sure that you have your questions readily available and feel free to ask. The whole goal is to make you feel better. So I began on methotrexate in pill form. I think I was at six pills a week. And so for that, I think it's like 15 milligrams since each pill is 2.5 milligrams. And uh, about three months into my treatment with methotrexate, we had to add a biologic. When I began my journey, I didn't understand biologics and I didn't know they came in different forms. I was given a biologic in infusion form. I wasn't given a choice of injections, which were the only other available method at the time that I became diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I began infusion therapy and it was Remicade and that didn't work as well as we had hoped for me and I had to change biologic. Which biologic do you choose when you begin your journey? There's so many different forms and so many biologics now. In my 12 years of being diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, I've seen so many new medications hit the market and it's so exciting because we never had these different kinds and different ways available to us and now we have all these options. So how do you know what is right for you and your lifestyle? We've got pills, we've got injections, we've got infusions, which are IV therapy. Each medication is just a different form of delivery. And each medication actually works on a different mechanism of the immune system. No one form is better than the other in these medications. So some medications like JAK inhibitors come in pill form, while TNF inhibitors can come in injections or infusions. There's B cell therapy like rituxan, and that only comes in an infusion form. IL-6 drugs can come in both injections and infusions. And so now your choice is to figure out what fits your lifestyle. But let me backtrack a little bit. If you're at the beginning of this journey, your insurance company might dictate where you have to begin. And your doctor should discuss that with you and let you know what steps that you have to take in order to move up the levels. Now moving up the levels doesn't necessarily mean that this drug is better than this drug. It's usually just cost. This drug's more expensive than this drug. Maybe this drug has been out longer and has a generic form now and this drug doesn't. Most of the time that has to do with cost, not the effectiveness of the medication. My advice to you is to discuss with your doctor what fits your lifestyle. I've been on pill form, I've been on injection form, and I've been on infusion form. What do I prefer? I prefer injections or infusions. And the reason why is I'm not afraid of needles. There are some people that feel more apprehensive about needles and maybe that doesn't work well for them. For me, I would rather inject or infuse and go about living my life. I am not very compliant with daily pills. And I know this about myself. If you give me a daily pill, there's more of a chance that I may skip a dose, forget a dose. An infusion, I feel like I can do it once a month. 
I can do it once every three months. I can do it once every six months, depending on the drug and forget about it. The different drugs come in different dosing schedules. Injections can be once a week, once every couple weeks, once a month. There are even injections that are daily. Pills, all the pills are a daily pill. Infusions can run anywhere from once a month to once every six months. Infusions can have a loading dose. So some drugs like Remicade and Rituxan will have a loading dose, a period where you have to do a couple at a time and then you move to your month. A lot of times patients will start on injection form now. You'll probably hear Embril or Humira to be the first drugs offered to you. Those seem to be a staple of autoimmune disease and for the most part are pretty effective. People are finding great success on these drugs and getting back to living their life. So it doesn't mean that any of these drugs are better than the other. It's just a different form of delivery. It doesn't mean that a person getting an infusion is sicker than a person that takes a daily pill. It's, it doesn't work that way. It's just a different form. The daily pill that you take as a JAK inhibitor doesn't come in an infusion form or an injection form. And on the lines of cost, a lot of times patients feel constrained by the cost of medication. And I want to tell you that there are different cost saving measures out there. If you have private insurance, I don't think it's available to Medicare, but a lot of the drug companies offer a copay assistance card or a copay program that can help you get a medication. So don't feel discouraged to say no to a medication because that's way too expensive and only think that the options available are a different kind of option. You should talk to your doctor about these copay assistant programs. All rheumatologists are familiar with them and they should be able to get you in touch with someone. And if you're not sure, you can just Google the drug that you're going to begin or that you would like to try. And not only will they offer you copay assistance, they also have nurse help for you for patients that is free of charge. If you have questions about the medication or side effects, these nurses that are trained on this particular medication and can answer your questions. If you're starting Renvoke, just Google Renvoke copay assistance or Renvoke patient program, and it should come up in Google. Like I said, feel free to ask your doctor questions. Their job is to listen to your concerns, help you find a medication that fits your lifestyle, something you can comply with. If you aren't finding this connection with your rheumatologist or they aren't so happy to answer your questions, it might be time for a new doctor. And that could be a whole nother video because I myself had to go find another doctor who would answer my questions and take the time to educate me. I know there's a shortage. I know there's a long wait in many areas to see rheumatologists, but if you would like to see a video on when you know it's time to seek out new healthcare, please just leave me a comment. I hope this helped. If you have any questions about medications, uh, I've taken a lot of different medications. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. If you are curious about the delivery method, I actually filmed my Actemra infusion and I'll link that down below if you'd like to see what an infusion looks like for a patient. If you'd like to see what it looks like for a patient to give themselves a subcutaneous which is an injection form of a medication, leave me a comment down below too. I've actually switched over to um, a injection form of the Actemra and I'm now doing injection forms. I can film a video to show you how an injection looks. If you've made it this far in this video, thank you. Uh, I'm glad that you're here. If these kind of videos are your thing, please feel free to subscribe if you're a warrior, a family member, a friend of a warrior, and just want more information about what it's like to live with autoimmune disease, this is your place. If this video could benefit somebody you know, please feel free to share it. Thank you for watching, and until my next adventure, go have yours.